Yo, what is up, guys? Travis, aka Travesty. Uh, recently got Ace alpha Great. But today I'm coming at you with a new crystal preset, what I recommend in the new region as an evasion hardcap mystic. Now, this is going to be my opinion. You're going to find a lot of different opinions out there. But uh, if you came to this video, you're probably wondering what you should run. Now, I'm going to be going over the staple crystals pretty much across the board in all my PvP sets. I'll also go touch briefly on what I'll be running for PvE, because I mainly PvE nowadays. So, for this first build, this is my general build that I'll be running. Um, I don't know how hard these crystals will be, get, be to get, but the main difference is you have your up, updated hooms. These updated hooms are super good, super solid. It makes hooms... Once, once again, probably four whom's best in slot. Very strong, very strong. Uh, the next thing you'll see here at the bottom is these frozen cold crystals. And these, I believe, no matter what, are going to be staple in my builds. Um, the whom's might not be there the whole time, but they're super strong as well. And then lastly, you'll see this tier. There's two different types of tiers that I think are worth it in PvP. One is the Haite, the other is Phoenix Tier, and I believe you use this Phoenix Tier in PvE as well, so pretty strong stuff. Now let's go over this general build. So I'm actually going to hold 8 crystals in constant versus um, previous 6. So the previous 6 were Jin Spec Evasions times 2, Jin Harfius times 2, and Elkar times 2. With this update, I don't think you'll ever want to take off the frozen cold crystals as they give 20 DR, 24 evasion, and 6 monster DR, which is very big for tankiness. After that, we have the upgraded Hoom set. This upgraded Hoom set is much better than the previous iteration of Hooms and gives a lot of tankiness, a lot of DR, a lot of evasion, a lot of accuracy, and a lot more health than previously before. After that, um, this high tide tier, the defensive one, this will probably be the one that, you know, you can swap out for more damage if you need it, but this one has 2% special attack evasion, 15 evasion, 10 DR, um, some resistance there as well, some HP, very strong defensive crystal. And then these last three slots, this is probably the part that's going to change the most in my general build. Let's say I need more accuracy. Then instead of two Glorious Lucas, I'll do two Gen Vipers. Let's say I, I didn't care about symmetry at all. Maybe one Glorious Luca, one Gen Viper, one Rebellious Crystal. These three crystal slots here are very interchangeable. Um, I could do two Corrupteds here. I could do a lot of different things in this, these three crystal slots. But the main part of this new general build for me is a mixture of tankiness and damage. So this will be my new general build. Um, when it comes to damage, let's say I'm fighting somebody who I know I can tank, but I need more damage to kill them. This could be a potentially new damage build. Again, you're going to see the, the eight crystals that never change for me personally um, here. But this time you're going to see the upgraded hooms. So the upgraded hooms are really good. Um, is it worth trading off the tankiness? Probably not for most situations. But if you want like a blast build, I think the 11% ignore resist as well as the combined 22 AP from this four set effect. Very strong, very strong. And you get some accuracy from it. Um, and then I use the Phoenix tier. This Phoenix tier gives five damage reduction, seven evasion, but also gives five accuracy, four hidden AP, and some special attack damage. So this is the um, attack variant of the tier. Um, I'm pretty sure those those two tiers are pretty much the ones you want to use. This third one, the Kirin tier, this is for monsters only. And it does have like a little bit more special attack damage. So definitely something to think about. But I think this is mainly for PvE whereas the Phoenix tier will be for PvP, and it's kind of a hybrid. So that's what I would recommend. 
And then similar to the previous general build, this damage build can swap out uh, different crystals here in these three slots. Maybe we're going to use two Corrupteds here instead of one Corrupted and one Luka. Maybe we want to run two Rebellious Crystals and a uh, Jin Ignore Knockdown. You can run a lot of different things here, but um, or let's say you need more accuracy, two Jin Vipers and a Luka, something like that. These three Crystal slots are pretty much open for debate, but I think I'll be trying out these new Macalods. And maybe, maybe four is not worth it. Maybe four is not worth it. Um, instead, maybe use two and RBF Viper. This one is very much not as solidified as, as this one is. When it comes to evasion, um, this is probably what I'm going to run for the new evasion build. Now, you'll notice that these new ultimate hooms have five evasion, three DR, and some HP. So there's an argument to continue just using Hooms instead of these crystals here, uh, the eight evasion crystals, because it's basically trading eight evasion versus five evasion, three DR, some HP and accuracy. So definitely something to think about, but for the most part, all this does is changes those first three crystals and my general build to defensive crystals. Um, there is an argument for swapping out Elkars for more defensive stats, but for me personally, I like to um, CC people when I'm running DP, so I'll probably always have Elkars in my set. Last but not least, here is my new PvE setup. Uh, this is very... Oh, let's put Kieran. This is very um, rough. I didn't really think about it too much, but we're going to have Glorious Akrods, Rebellious Crystals and Cruel Slaughter Crystals as our main, uh, the big three. We're going to have Jin Vipers if we're having any accuracy issues. We do have a Curin's tier for monster and drop rate. This all AP plus five can be swapped out for something different if needed. Um, Corrupteds can be swapped out for the new back attack crystals. But honestly, I think Corrupteds are still better than the back attack crystals because of the damage modifier. Um, you get 22% crit damage versus 24% back attack damage. I think crit damage comes out on top. The two set Han Mox or Ultimate Hans give 11 AP versus just 10 straight up AP. And you get some accuracy as well from this set. So the Ultimate Macalods act ultimately replace these 5 AP crystals if you want to run a really strong build. And then you also have the Dark Red Fang here to hit uh, plus five crit. Now these can be swapped out if you want to run four Macalot set, because you'll actually get an additional, uh, what is it? One AP if you, you run this together um, instead of this, this set right here. But it's not too much of a difference. And if you don't want to lose these crystals in PVP, you can definitely swap them out. But I think the two set and potentially four set effect can be used for PVE now. And you won't be griefing yourself pretty hard. Yep, so these new Cruel Slaughter Crystals, 14 AP, some 2% attack damage. I think these are the best for damage. But if you want more tankiness, definitely still run what I recommend here, the Frozen Cold. I think the, the third variation of crystals for PVE. E is not even useful. I think it's uh, pretty pretty garbage in my opinion. So yeah, so that is basically it, guys. I'm sure my opinion will change once the new region comes out and I figure out how difficult and how hard these crystals are to get. But most likely you'll be see, you'll see me running a variation of this with these three crystals kind of changing depending on who I'm fighting. Um, I can definitely see myself swapping in res resistance or more damage, maybe more accuracy. A lot of different things I can put in these three slots. And potentially even just swapping the high tide tier for more damage to the um, other tier. This one right here, Phoenix tier. But I think the Han Hooms will probably be in most of my sets now. These upgraded ones and then the Frozen Cold Crystals. So we're looking at quite a bit more evasion, quite a bit more... DR, 
Um, things are looking good for evasion builds with this new region. I hope this video helped you collect what you guys are going to do. I hope you guys do something different, but if, if you want to just follow what I do, definitely uh, let me know. This has been Travis, aka Travsty. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.